King of the Road. We recently cruised to First Baptist Church in Buna for longtime Buna resident Robert Strange's 100th birthday. Hundreds of family and friends crowded into the church's recreation hall that Saturday afternoon to pay tribute to Mr. Strange. There was a lot of food and family-oriented fun that beautiful day in Buna. Robert Strange raised eight children and now has 24 grandchildren, 46 great-grandchildren, 39 great-great-grandchildren, and three great-great-great-grandchildren. Including his children's spouses, Mr. Strange has 157 living family members. Happy birthday to Robert Strange, 100 years young today in Buna. What does it feel like to be 100? I feel just as good as I ever do. <laughs> we got it all going on, for sure. Yeah. I do everything or anything I want to do. I understand you're still independent, too. Huh? In your own place. Yep. In Buna? I live by myself. Yeah. You and your girlfriends, right? Hmm? You and your girlfriends? No, I ain't got no girlfriends. <laughs> I got too far to go. Oh, I say I ain't. I got a lot of friends. Mr. Strange certainly does have a lot of friends, as we saw that day at First Baptist in Buna, Texas. Friends and family, that is. We're standing in front of the strange family tree, talking to another strange person. I mean, that's your name. <laughs> This is the son of uh, Robert uh, Strange, Mickey Strange, and you're just 67, so you're, you're a baby, right? Yeah, I'm the youngest boy. Yeah. I've got a, a younger sister, and she's uh, 65. In the United States, people who live to be 100 or otherwise known as centenarians traditionally receive letters from the president or other dignitaries. In fact, Robert Strange has received letters of congratulations from famous folks like Governor Rick Perry. Senator K. Bailey Hutchison, Senator John Cornyn, and State Representative Wayne Christian. Robert Strange, born in 1909 on this very day. Yeah. Did your brothers and sisters live long lives? Too? Yeah, I got a sister there. Yeah, that is his sister there. She's still a youngster, just 98. I guess you've seen a whole lot of changes uh, in 100 years. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've seen a lot. So what do you think of this party, Robert? Uh, what do you think of the party? Oh, I love it. I love it. Most of them kinfolks, and the rest of them wonderful friends. you got an awful big family. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's run down that list again. Mr. Strange raised eight children. He has 24 grandchildren, 46 great-grandchildren, 39 great-great-grandchildren, and three great-great-great-grandchildren. All told, there's 157 living family members. And for years, I stayed with them, and they, they treat me like one of their kids. You've been friends a long time? Oh, my gosh. If such a young fella. What's your name, sir? Jim Peters. You guys are all ranchers, aren't you? Yeah, ranchers and I, rodeo hands. Yeah. Robert here was uh, a bricklayer for a while. Uh-huh, and he worked at the uh, refinery. Of course, anyone who is lucky enough to make it to the century mark has seen a lot and had many, many experiences. Robert Strange is living history. Robert was born in Quintana, which is right across the river from Freeport, Texas, in July 1909. Robert began working at the age of 12 at a meat market in Galveston delivering meat and groceries by mule and cart. At the age of 14, he went to work for an engraving company in Houston. In 1924, at the age of 15, Mr. Strange's family moved to Port Arthur, and young Robert sold newspapers downtown and had a paper route. When he was 19, Robert Strange began his career as a bricklayer, a job that he kept for years and years. In 1933, at the age of 24, Robert was hired by the Texaco Refinery in Port Arthur for $2.42 per hour. He retired from Texaco in Port Arthur in 1974 after 41 years of service. Since then, Mr. Strange has lived on his cattle farm in Buna, Texas. While Robert Strange raised his eight children, he often worked two jobs. He would work from 11 p.m. until 7 a.m. at Texaco and then go lay bricks all day. He'd come home, sleep a few hours, then go back to work at Texaco at 11 p.m. He was great. Uh, he supported a big family for many years with two jobs, and, uh, you know, he, he did us all right. He 
best dad you could ever have, him and my mom both. What do you think his secret is to the uh, longevity? Making? I don't know, but I hope I've got it. <laughs> you had a lot of long livers in your family, haven't you? Yes, we have. Uh, a lot of his uh, aunts and uh, kin folks, uh, you know, lived to be 199. Uh, we just lost uh, two of his aunts, uh, lived up in the Plano, Dallas area that were 99 to 100 years old. Just in case you're wondering, Robert Strange's lifestyle hasn't always been squeaky clean. I've dipped snuff, yeah. chewed tobacco, smoked. Did you ever drink whiskey? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> lots and lots of beer. What kind of things do you like to eat? Huh? What, what do you like to eat? What do I like to eat? Yeah. Anything don't bite me first. You still enjoy a beer every now and then? No, I ain't drank a beer in a long time. Yeah. What do you think your secret is to uh, making it to 100? A lot of people would like to know how to do that. I don't know. You don't know? I just tried to live a good life. Yeah. yeah. Uh, always done what I wanted to do. I, I, I've just had a good time since he put me here. How many years have you been in Buda now? I believe it coming in 1933. 1933? Has Buda grown? Hmm? Has Buda grown? Not much. Not much? No. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate your time. Happy birthday. Thank you. I hope you have a hundred more. <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed checking out Robert Strange's 100th birthday. He truly is a remarkable man. Coming up next, we'll cruise to Lincoln Avenue in Groves for First Friday. <laughs>